These are images that have become all too common. Students fleeing their schools. Law enforcement converging on those schools, responding to reports of a shooting, trying to determine what exactly is going on. And these images strike fear into the hearts of people like Joe Gorham. He is the secondary principal for student affairs at the Crestwood High School. I read the news just like everyone else does. I see, I see the media, I see the, you know, the school safety issues that go on in our country, um, and it literally um, makes me emotional. And Gorham says he has found a common connection in many of these school shootings. Just communicate with your kids. Um, you know, most of the times when there's tragedies um, and, you know, serious safety issues in schools, there was always signs that were missed. Um, so, you know, if you think something doesn't feel right, say something to somebody. School districts throughout our region approach school security in a wide variety of ways. Some are very high tech. For example, Hazleton area has an elaborate camera surveillance system and oftentimes uses metal detectors to screen people, including students, entering their buildings. The Crestwood School District in Mountaintop has school resource officers patrolling its buildings and people coming in must identify themselves before they are buzzed into that school. Piero Sassu is chief of the Crestwood School Police Force. He has 40 years experience in keeping schools and their students and staff safe. It's situational awareness. You have to be aware of your surroundings and aware of visitors to your property and, and to the school itself. Chief Sassu says he has found that all of the preventative safety steps in the world cannot top building relationships with students. On a daily basis, your school resource officers are always interacting with kids, uh, finding out what's going on with them, noticing changes in their behavior, noticing changes in their physical well-being. Uh, it's just very important for the whole community to, to see that. Robert Mahalik is superintendent of the Crestwood School District. Yeah, the connections with our students and having them feel comfortable and confident that if they come to an adult, to come to an administrator, a teacher, that you know their, uh, th their concerns will be addressed immediately. Mahalik says in this day and age, we never take anything for granted. Any tip, any concern that's brought to our attention, anything that a student may uh, bring up, we fully investigate it. Another big issue in recent months, threats made to school districts, like that made at the Wyoming Valley West High School this past week. Those threats forced the evacuation and sometimes the closing of the school for the day. State Senator Johnny Dechak says he's in favor of toughening the penalties for those who make those threats. I think we have to uh, hold those that make the threats, the students, there has to be great accountability, and for families. Uh, uh, you know, we have accountability in terms of making sure students are attending school, uh, that they're not skipping school. We've got to look at all options.